Right. Good. Now look, you go down there and talk to him. Samuel and Minna Foss, a heartwarming inspiration to young people in these days of instability, promiscuity, and divorce. Jane, where have you been? I've been talking to Grandpa. Papa, you're wearing your new suit. You'll finally come to your senses. You're going to give up this nonsense. What nonsense? Papa, you are behaving like... Arnold! Your Papa's talking. So listen to me. This morning, my little grandchild, Janie, came to me and said she had a terrible fight with her mama. Jane, how can you say such a thing? Ruthie, sit down. So I told her it was a shame for the family. You told her? Arnold, sit down. Everybody sit down. You too sit down. Yes, Papa. I told her go back, but she's a very stubborn girl. She gets it from her mother and her grandma. Why, Grandpa, she said, why? What do I owe my mama and my papa? And that's a question. What do you owe your mama and papa? At first, your life. You didn't ask for it, but they gave it to you anyhow. When you're little, a child, you owe to learn from your mama and papa how to walk, how to behave, how to know right and wrong, then, when you're as old as Janie, you owe to grow up, to cut yourself away from them, to be a real man, a real woman. This you owe. And when your mom and papa are old, what do you owe them? Money? Maybe a little, if it must be. Gratitude? No, because everything they did for you, they owe to you. So what's left? Respect. Why respect? Because your mama and papa are human beings. And to them you owe the respect that comes from one human being to another. Even if your whole life you try to be something else, opposites even, yet this too comes from them. Good or bad, you grow out of them. They are part of you. So to respect them is to respect yourself. So what finally do you owe? Only to respect yourself. Yes, but P Papa, what's all that got to do with anything? What about the diamond wedding? Oh, that. I made a bargain with her. If Janie will go back and make up with her mama, then we will forget about the divorce and go through the diamond wedding. They're making the sacrifice for me. Isn't that nice? All right, everybody, hurry now. It's time to get to the auditorium for the celebration. Oh, it's going to be absolutely tremendous. All right, there, out there, here they come. Get ready. Now, well, what are you waiting for? Another 75 years. Come on. Nick, do you think they believed us? Well, they got everybody back off their limb. Yeah. All right, hold it. Oh, hold it right there. All right, fella. Uh, hi, Skinny. Hi, Nick. Uh, Jane, this is Erskine Johnson. Uh, this is Jane Melton, one of the granddaughters. Hello. How do, you, how do you do? What do you think of your grandparents being married 75 years? I'll bet some days it seems like 76. Thank you. I'll use that. Very good. All right, everybody. This way. Yeah, notes. Notes. You won't have to worry about answering the mayor. I'll make the speech. I think I can make the speech, don't you? Yes, Papa. 